Welcome to the episode of my Linux driver tutorials. Today we will talk about device files, device numbers, character and block devices. And how you can use them as an interface between a kernel module or driver and user space. So in my last video I have created a driver for controlling this LED and reading the state of this button here. And let me demonstrate this driver once again. To you. So here I'm connected to my Raspberry Pi over SSH and I will navigate into the folder containing the source code and the compiled kernel module. So this GPO control.ko is the um, kernel module for our GPIO driver. And if I load it, you can see the LED is turned on now. And this is cool, but the problem is the driver is now loaded and we have no way to um, interface the driver and tell it, for example, to turn the LED off again. If we want to turn the LED off, what we have to do is we have to remove the whole driver from the kernel and then the LED turns back off. But it would be really cool if you would have some interfaces to communicate from user space with our driver. And today I want to show you one possible interface you can use. Okay, so if you want to access devices, maybe a good starting point is looking at the dev folder in your root file system. So here we have this dev folder and in here we have a lot of files. But one important note is these files in here or this dev file system is basically, or these are virtual files. So we will see they see in a minute they don't really have a size and if we would shut down our Raspberry Pi, took out the SD card and plug it into a standard PC and also take a look at the dev folder, most of these files wouldn't be there. So let's take a look at some regular files and folders. So for example, if I'm lsing the content of my Linux driver tutorials folder in a long format, you can see the various directories and files in here. So for example, license here is a regular file. This here is the date of the last modification. Here we have the size of the file in bytes. We have the owner, oh no, the group and the owner this file belongs to. We have the um, permissions from, group, from owner, group and others. And this minus here indicates this is a regular file. For a directory, it's the same, the only difference is here we have a leading D which tells us, okay, this here is a directory. But if we take a look at some device files, for example, let's take MMC block 0 um, and MMC block 1, P1. If we take dev TTY as 0 and let's also take GPIO chip 0 and if we take a look here, this looks a little bit different. So the first thing we notice is now we have a C and a B standing in front of the files. And instead of a size, we have two numbers here. Okay, so maybe let's start with the first letter here. So C stands for character device file and B stands for block device file. And character and block refers to the way the devices are accessed. So behind MMC blocks um, zero is our SD card. And if you're accessing this file here, we are really accessing our SD card. And this device file is a block device file. And this makes sense in a way because the way you're accessing an SD card is block wise. So you can just write the whole block or you can read a whole block. This file here, devtty as zero, is our um, serial port of our Raspberry Pi. And this is a character device file, which is indicated by the C here. And a serial port being a character device file also makes sense because the way you are interacting with a serial port is by reading and writing bytes to it or from it. But what are these two numbers here? These numbers are the so-called device numbers and the device numbers are split into a major and a minor device number. So here we can see for our GPIO chip 0, the major device number is 200, 
54, the minor device number is 0. For our SD card, the major device number is 179, the minor device number is 0. This here is the first partition on our SD card and this has major device number 179, minor device number 1. So you can see these minor device numbers are incremented for various um, device files. Another example where you can see this quite good is if we take a look at TTY1, 2, um, 3, 4, 5 for example. Here you can see yeah, the minor device number is increasing here. And if you want to see which device numbers belong to which driver, you can take a look in the PROC DEVICES file. So here we have a list of our block device numbers which are in use and our character device device numbers which are in use. And for example, major number 4 is for our TTYS driver or 179 is our MMC, so our SD card driver and 254 is the GPIO chip driver for example. But here in this file you can only see the major device numbers which are in use by our system. Okay, and the last thing I want to show you is that um, the link between a driver and the device files is not made over the name of the device file. No, instead it's made over um, the major and minor device number. So for example, if I want to read the first bytes of my, um, which are written on my SD card, I can use hex dump and pipe it into head and this will print out the first bytes written on my SD card. And now here you can see I'm in my home folder and what I will do now is I will create a new device file and this I can do with the make note command. Then I have to give it a name, here I will pick my MMC. Then I have to specify the type of device file and here I want to have a block device file. And then I have to specify the major and minor device number, which is 179 and 0 in this case. And after doing so, we have this my MMC device file in my home folder. You can see the device numbers are the same. And now if I run the hex dump command again, but now instead of def mmc block zero, I'm using my mmc and I'm piping it to head again. You can see we are also reading the same bytes. So we are, so what this hex dump command really does is, it's open this file, but the read is forwarded to the mmc driver and the mmc driver then returns these numbers here. But let me give you a second example and let me also show you how to create a character device file. So here you can see I've shortened two pins on my Raspberry Pi. And these are the TX and RX pins of the serial port. So if I open up a serial terminal like screen and open devtty0 and specify a baud rate and if I type something in it's echoed back because the two pins are shortened. Okay, so let's take a look again at the device number of um, TTYS0 and we can see the major number is 4, the minor number is 64. So now again we can use make note to create a new um, device file. I will name it my serial. It should be a character device file, major number 4, minor device number 64. Here we can see it again that the numbers are matching here and then if I run the screen command on my serial here and let's specify the baud rate again. Yeah, it's still working and everything I'm typing in is still echoed. And the reason for this is by opening and reading and writing from this my serial file we are actually um, interfacing with the driver. And this made this magic happen. So the key takeaway is um, device files are linked over their major and minor device numbers to a driver and not over their file names and we have also learned how to create device files. 
and that they are character and block oriented device files. Ok cool, so I guess that's it for today. In my next video I will show you how we can allocate an own device number in our either Linux driver and how we can create a character device for it. If you enjoyed this video, or, or I hope you've enjoyed the video, and in case if you want to support my work you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com slash for Linux. So thanks for watching and goodbye.